This is how to find our IRR or internal rate of return on our HP 12C financial calculator. We're going to do two quick examples. The first one is going to be where the cash flows are constant. So we'll have an initial investment that we're putting down for a project and then three years of the same cash flow. And then our second example, we're going to do initial investment and then the cash flows are going to be different than each other. And I'll show you how to enter that on your HP 12C financial calculator. Let's just say for this project, both scenarios, we're putting down $20,000, but um, in example number one, the cash flow is $12,000 every year for three years. But example number, number two, the cash flow is $12,000, $10,000, and $8,000. Here's how you do it. We're solving for IRR. Let's go. First, let's put down our $20,000. This, when it's assigned to uh, CF0 at the cash flow at time zero, it's always going to be negative because that money is going out from you and you're putting it down. It's not in your account anymore. So we're going to go 20,000 and then CHS will make it negative. And then we're going to put that in our CF0 by going like this, GPV, and that's going to activate that little blue right there. Hopefully you can see that. Then we're knowing, um, <laughs> we know that we're going to get a cash flow of $12,000 a year. So we're going to go 12,000. And we're going to go G, that's going to activate our cash flow J, CFJ, but we need it for three years. So you could re-enter it every time, but once you get to like, I don't know, 20 years, you don't want to be entering it that many times. So what you can do is press 3G FV and FV or GFV, that'll activate NJ. So the number of times that cash flow is happening. And then to find our IRR, all you have to do is press um, the orange F. And then we're going FV. There we go. Awesome. But let's just say the uh, cash flows are different. Let's clear our calculator first. And we're going to enter $20,000 going out again. Negative. And then our first cash flow, I think we said $12,000. So we're going to go G. And then right there, and then our next one is 10,000. And then our next one is 8,000. Oh. And then all we have to do is just press F and then get to our IRR. There we go, I hope this helps.